So, uh, here we go. Here we go. Hopefully, you can see the slideshow here. It's gotten big. Um, so, what I'm going to try to cover today, hopefully, we get through it all. But I will talk about uh, creating an account, a YouTube account, and signing into it, how to search on YouTube, how to watch videos, how to comment on videos, share videos, uh, subscribe to YouTube channels, and I'll go over some YouTube settings and uploading to YouTube. So first, what can and can't you do without a YouTube account? Uh, so what you can do without a YouTube account, you can still watch and share videos without having to sign in. But what you cannot do without a YouTube account, you cannot uh, change any settings. You cannot comment or like in any videos. You cannot subscribe to YouTube channels. You cannot create playlists and you cannot upload your own videos without a YouTube account. So, um, to create a YouTube account, all you need is a Gmail, uh, which is an email through Google. If you have one of those already, you can uh, already make a YouTube account. Uh, so since YouTube is owned by Google, that's why you need a Gmail. Um, it's suggested to have uh, uh, either a mobile telephone number or a backup email tied to your Google account, just in case for some reason you ever get locked out of your account, like you forget your password or something like that, um, then you can uh, easily get back into your Google account and reset your password. And uh, you can see on the right here, that's uh, what the um, page to create an account will look like. It will ask for first and last name, what you want your uh, email, Gmail address to be. You create your password, it will ask for your birthday, a uh, mobile number. Um, you do not have to do gender or location, but you can if you want to. And so I'm going to show what it's like um, to sign in to uh, YouTube. Give me a second. There we go. And so you should see here, this is the YouTube homepage when you first um, go to youtube.com. Hopefully you should be able to see it there. Um, and you will see in the upper right hand corner here, there's a little option to sign in. So, uh, highlight it in blue here. So just click on it. And it will take you to this page here. If you have signed in before, on this device. So I have signed in before on this computer. Um, you can choose from them here or you can click on use another account and that is when you will input your email or your phone number that's tied to your email. And then you would uh, hit next and it would ask for the password. If you have not created a YouTube account yet or a Gmail account yet, this is where you can also click on create an account down here. And you would click on it and then it would ask for all your information. And that's how you would uh, sign in. You can also still also just use YouTube without signing in if you don't want to. And uh, here is where I'm going to start breaking down this home page here because when you first look at it it seems like a lot but it's actually quite easy to get used to once you've been through it for a while so here is right here in the middle is a bunch of just like recommended videos since I'm not signed in it's just going to be like just a mix of videos when you're signed in and you start watching videos it's going to start uh, recognizing what kind of videos you like 
and then we'll start recommending those types of videos for you. Here are also some like search um, recommendations. So they have like gaming or music or trailers, comedy, bunch of just suggested kind of stuff. Uh, when you're signed in, it will have recommended things based on what you've watched before. At the top here is the search bar. So that's where you can search uh, different types of videos. And the little magnifying glass here is the search button. Otherwise, also, if you have uh, voice enabled um, stuff, like if you have a mic, you could do it that way if searching by voice is easier than typing for you. Also on the top left here, it has the YouTube icon. This will always take you back to the home page, no matter what page you're on. And here are these three lines uh, that maximizes and minimizes the search options on the side here. So right now I minimized it. I can click on it again and maximize it. Here is the home button as well. So you can always click on that to go back home. Uh, shorts is a newer thing for YouTube that is uh, like shorter videos, usually under like a minute. Um, you can click on that and that will specifically only show you um, those types of videos. Here is where you could click on subscriptions. Uh, so if you're signed in, it will show your subscriptions there. Uh, you, this will show uh, like your search history or your favorited videos. Right now I'm not signed in, so it doesn't show anything. And here is like watch history. But since I'm not signed in, it's not showing anything right now. Further down, again, you can sign in here as well. Um, further down is what's trending right now on YouTube. So uh, videos within like the last 24 to 48 hours that are very popular. Uh, you can click on it and it will show those videos here. Um, and you'll just scroll down and it would show all the most popular videos within the last 24 to 48 hours. Uh, videos exclusively for shopping, uh, music videos, movies and TV that has been uploaded to YouTube. A lot of this is also for, um, it will tell you right here if it's free or not to watch. So it's free with ads in the green here. Otherwise, other ones um yeah here they'll say buy or rent and that's when you'll have to be signed into your account to be able to watch those and then it will cost money if it's buy or rent it does cost money so always be careful with that live that's uh if anyone is live streaming right now um so you can see here um things that are upcoming or things that are live right now, you can see those. So if it has the little red live in the bottom right hand corner of the picture or the thumbnail, that means it's currently live right now. If it shows a time like this one shows uh, six hours, uh, that means it was it's not live anymore, but it was previously live. And so you can watch uh, after it's been live so and if it says upcoming that means it hasn't happened yet but you can see here the time for when it is will happen then there's also gaming over here uh news sports uh courses so educational courses fashion and beauty podcasts and and playables is uh games so they do have some games now on YouTube that you can play. Further down, there's also um, YouTube Premium, YouTube TV, YouTube Music, and YouTube Kids. YouTube Premium, YouTube TV, those are paid subscriptions. So that's how some people get um, like their live TV. Uh, YouTube Kids is videos specifically aimed at kids. So if you have any younger kids or anything like that, and you want to make sure they're watching appropriate things. YouTube Kids usually has that. 
And then here is settings, report history, help, and send feedback. Again, those you have to be signed in to use. Um, but uh, settings, I'll get into um, report history. If you see anything uh, that's questionable on YouTube, you can always uh, report it and uh, YouTube will take a look at it. Help is just more extra help um, for YouTube and send feedback also. You can like send comments and stuff to YouTube. So that's that on the left here. But I can take a look at it, um, what it looks like when you're signed in, because it is slightly different when you're signed in. I'm just going to pause my share for a second as I signed in here. Hold on. Okay. Now you should see um, the screen again here. So let's look at the home now when it's signed in. Uh, so it looks like this. Right now I have my watch history on. You can always turn your watch history on and off. Um, but here, subscriptions. There we go. That shows um, the channels that I've subscribed to, their most recent videos and stuff like that. You can also see uh, further down here, there's a new um, spot for subscriptions. And um, you can subscribe to as many channels as you want. You can see there's quite a few here. And you'll notice three of them have what looks like a blue dot next to them. That means that channel has um, new videos that I have not seen yet. So if I were to click on them, say this one, um, it will take you to that channel directly. And you can look at what they have new. So you see all the subscription here. You can also show less if you have too many open. Again, these, these all stay the same. These are all here. But now you can see um, there's also one more here called YouTube Studio. Since I'm signed in, that is a feature that will help me with any videos that I upload to my own channel. And here's also, again, still settings, report history, help and send feedback. I'll get into those in a moment. But first, let's look at what a channel looks like and um, how to go through them. So you can see uh, this is a channel that I've subscribed to. They have a little icon here, uh, some information about that channel. You can see how many other people have subscribed to it, how many videos they have uploaded. If I click on more here, it tells me more details about this channel. Uh, the URL for this channel, how many people are subscribed to it, videos, how many people have viewed their videos. So you can see 4 million people have viewed this person's videos. And when the channel was created, um, here, share channel, it will create, a, it will copy the link here. And I could like send it to friends on other things like Facebook or something like that. I would just click on it and I can say share channel or copy channel ID, either one of those. And then I could send it to someone. If I feel like there's something negative on this channel or like maybe I feel like um, they've, they've uploaded inappropriate videos or something like that, you would click on this, but please be careful. Uh, if you, you don't want to accidentally click on that. Uh, and that will send like a notification to YouTube and then they would take a look at what I think is wrong. Um, here are videos, so videos, and there's a little button here that will scroll through videos. This is the shorts I was talking about earlier, like the, the shorter, like one minute videos kind of thing. Uh, and then you will see, um, like these little tabs here. Uh, this will show me more on the 
channel. So this will take me to the videos and it's uh, usually automatically sorts it by the, the most recent video or latest. So you can also sort it by their most popular video or their oldest video. And then if there's a video I like on here, I would click on it. So I'll get more into videos on a sec in a second. This is just the, the shorts, the one minute videos. If this creator has created any playlists, I can find them here. So playlists are videos that are like similar in topic. So this person does a lot of video games and they've sorted um, their videos on video games into certain playlists. So I could click on that and it will show me, uh, if I click on it right here, it would start with the first video and it would play through all the videos. Or I can also see view full playlist and it will list all the videos that are in that playlist. Uh, and then I'm gonna go back a page, there we go. Community, this is like where the creator can uh, post um, like text about updates and stuff like that if they want to and so you can keep stay up to date about with this creator and then some channels even have a store and that would link directly to this creator store not all um channels have this though uh and then this last one magnifying glass i can search just within uh this channel so if i know this creator upload a video about something I can search for that let's say I just want to search games so we we'll search all videos related to games just on this channel not all of YouTube so that's kind of how channels work you can also see I'm already subscribed to this channel and then this uh, little bell icon here if I were to click on it uh, like this, uh, I can see what kind of notifications I can get from this channel. I could say that I don't want any notifications from this channel, but still stay subscribed. Right now I have it personalized, or I can get all notifications from this channel. Or if I decide eventually, maybe this creator stops uploading videos or something like that, or I just don't find them interesting anymore, I could always unsubscribe from the, the channel and so I won't get any notifications and it won't show up on this left side here anymore. If you do accidentally do it, you can always just resubscribe. It uh, costs no money to subscribe to YouTube channels. Um, let's say for, let me find, um, maybe there's another channel. Let's say here, I want to go here. What's that? So for example, if I'm not subscribed to a channel, you can see here it's in black and it'll say subscribe. All you would have to do to subscribe to it, just click on it and that's all it takes. Now you subscribe to this channel. And again, subscribing to just YouTube channels like this is completely free and then They'll ask me, are you sure you want to unsubscribe? And I can either cancel or say yes, unsubscribe. And then that subscription is removed from my list. And that's all that takes to subscribe to videos. Now let's say, uh, yeah, let's see what a video looks like now when we watch it. So you can see when I hover over, uh, what they call a thumbnail, you'll see two icons pop up here. This first one is watch later. That would add it to my watch later playlist, which I find up here. Let's say I click it. Now it says it's been added. You can always undo as well. Uh, this next one is add to queue. So if I want to watch just a lot of videos all at once without having to go find them all, and this would be add to queue and it would just create a queue for me to watch. So I can just have a 
bunch of videos ready and then I can go and watch them. Now let's say I wanted to watch it right now. You would just left click on it. The first step to tackling your credit card debt is understanding how much debt you actually have. And that. So uh, YouTube does have, unfortunately, a lot of ads now. That's how they keep it free for you, the watcher. But there will usually be like an ad before the video you watch a lot of times. And there is an option, as you saw me do, to skip the ad usually after five seconds. And so then I can watch my video. Now, before I go into watching the video, I can explain what all these little uh, icons are here. First, you have your standard play button. You would just click on it and click on it again to pause to keep your spot. This icon here uh, goes to the next video, but you will usually see over here but otherwise it'll give you a little um, preview of what the next video is. Um, because a lot of time YouTube just automatically goes to the next video for watchers. This here is your sound control. Uh, you click it once to automatically mute the video, click it again to unmute, and you'll see that otherwise there's also this little slider here that uh, lets you control the volume. Next is, you'll see a bunch of numbers. This is um, just the length of the video. You can see this video is quite long, it's 10 hours. We're not gonna watch the whole thing, obviously. Um, and here is where you are in the video, the time. Uh, if you hover over here, you can see this is the whole video, the playlist. Uh, if you want to like skip forward, you would just click where you want to go. You can also click and drag. So that is how you can go through videos real fast. Here is the autoplay. That is um, what allows YouTube to go to the next video. So right now it's off. If I click it, you'll see that it's now on. So if I were to watch this whole video and let it end, um, it usually gives you like a 15 second countdown, but then after 15 seconds, it starts the next video. Otherwise I can turn that off. And so once this video is done, it will just stay like on this page. Here is where um, if a video is um, enabled for subtitles or closed captioning, you could click on this and turn it on. Right now it says this video does not have closed captioning. So it's off right now. This is the settings for videos. So um, it depends on the video, but not all, every video has every same setting, but this is usually kind of like a standard settings. A stable volume, which, you know, keeps the volume at pretty similar level. If there's uh, what they call annotations, i keep that on for a second. So I can see this is considered an annotation. It's um, kind of like, a little uh, link that will stay on the video. So like, for example, this video, its annotation is um, a link to subscribe to the channel. Otherwise you can turn that off and you can see that little red button went away. Uh, playback speed, uh, you can choose the speed at which the video plays back. You can have it really slow or you can have it really fast. Uh, and then um, the quality, the picture quality of the video, usually standardly, it's just on auto. And so it will do the highest quality your Wi-Fi will allow. Um, otherwise, this one looks like it has all the way to like 1080p. So you can see how clear the picture is. Otherwise, you can um, have it just keep on auto. Or you can even see the worst quality. You can see it look, it's very fuzzy. <laughs> and the picture gets very fuzzy. Next to it is what they call mini player, which um, it kind of just like pops out the video. Let's see here. 
So you can see uh, the video went to here, so it's very small. But then I can go to another page and that will be playing while I look at other pages on YouTube if I want. Otherwise, if I don't want the mini player, I can click on the expand here and it will take me back to the other page here. Theater mode makes it bigger while still allowing you to like scroll down and see the comments and stuff. And then there's also full screen, which will take it to full screen here. But you can still uh, get to the things here. If you want to exit full screen, there is the little exit full screen down here. And then underneath videos, again, this is where you can get more information for the videos. It has the title of the video just below it, the channel it's from, the little subscribe button. This is where you are allowed to like or dislike the video. This is where you can share it. If you click on it, it'll either let you choose which um, social media you want to send it to, either Facebook or email or what used to be Twitter, a whole bunch of options. Or you can just hit here to copy the link and then you can go uh, to whether, whatever website or social media you want to share it to and you would just paste it. Here you can even choose like um, where to start the video in. So if you don't want to start all the way at the beginning, if maybe there's just a certain section you want a person to see, you can select to start the video right from where um, you have the video paused. And then you can exit out of that. You can even download this video with premium. So you have to be subscribed to premium. Uh, and you can even choose the quality you can download it at. It will give you a little free trial. But also, you can also just say not now. Uh, this video even has a donation link if you want to donate to the YouTube channel. Uh, clipping is what makes those little YouTube shorts, those one minute videos, you can create a one minute video out of it, this. Uh, and then here you can also even save the video to your watch later list or playlist uh, if you want to create a playlist for it. And this is where you can report the video if you feel like there's a problem with the video. Let's click on save. And you can see here, I could save it to my watch later playlist, or I can create a whole new playlist and, and name the playlist. So I'm going to exit out of that for now. Underneath all of those, uh, here is where you can find uh, if the creator of this video has um, more information on the video, this is where you can find it. So for example, right now, it's showing that this video has had uh, 301 views from people. It was only uploaded about two hours ago. And here they have a little description of it. Video produced by and stuff like that. And here is where you can go again to the videos on the channel and the about page of the channel. If I want to minimize this, I can show less. And here is where people have put comments on the video. Again, you have to be signed in if you want to leave your own comment. But right now this one only has uh, four comments on it right now. Um, and you can read them. You can even like other people's comments and reply to them. And if you want to leave your own comment, just click in here and you'll see this line got darker here. You uh, type what you want to say. You can even add little faces to it. They give you some options. You can leave little faces and stuff like that. Uh, and then once you've typed it, you would just click on comment. Or if you decide you don't want to comment right now, maybe you'll think about it. You can hit cancel. And then we'll leave it. But that's how you can uh, comment, like, and share videos there. 
um, again, here's where you can go straight back to YouTube Home. And now since I'm signed in, you also see this area has opened up a little bit more. Uh, your channel is where you can click on to go to your own YouTube channel. Um, see here, you can see videos you've uploaded. And if you have uh, want to leave a post on your own channel, this is all here. Watch history. Right now I don't have my watch history on, but this is where you could turn it on. Uh, here's playlists. So you have watched later and liked videos. Videos that you have liked will show up here until you can see what videos you've liked before. Your videos. And this will give you a breakdown of your own videos and how much has been watched. And you can see I'm now in YouTube Studio. It's opened up a new tab for me. So here's YouTube and YouTube Studio. Um, watch later. Just want to watch later. You can see here. And like the videos. So I'll show up here. Uh, so give me one moment. I'm going to take a quick drink. But uh, if there's been any questions yet so far, again, feel free to put them uh, in the chat. It's the uh, two speech bubbles that either it's either on the top or bottom of your screen. Um, or if there's uh, anything I talked about and you need me to go over again, maybe you didn't quite get it. Um, please let feel free to let me know in the chat. Otherwise, I can look a little bit into YouTube Studio here. This is if you want to upload your own videos on your channel, maybe you got like home videos or anything like that you want to create. You would do that um, in YouTube Studio here, which you can either get to from here under your videos. Or um, you will see your icon in the upper right hand. Um, usually, if you haven't like uh, uploaded a profile image, it will just have the first letter of your first name that you put in on your Google account. But otherwise, you can click on this, and this gives you quite a few options here. You can click on view your channel right here. That will take you to YouTube studio and go to Google account. If you have multiple accounts under one Gmail, you can also switch it there. This is where you would sign out when you're all done with YouTube for the day. You can also click on YouTube studio. Uh, and here is also purchases and memberships. This is where you can check on like prime and stuff like that. Um, but yes, let's say we want to go to YouTube Studio. That will take you to YouTube Studio here. It will open with your dashboard. And it'll, that just gives you a rundown of all the kind of stuff, uh, of, of all your stuff on your channel, like your subscribers. Um, how many people have viewed your channel within the last few days? Uh, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to look at the videos you've already done, that's under content here, and that will show you your videos, and it gives you more of a breakdown of your videos, whether you have them public, so everyone on YouTube can see it, or you can have it private, so only you can see it, or unlisted, where only people with the um, URL or the link to it can see it. Um, it'll tell you how many views it's gotten, when you originally published it, um, things like that. Uh, so that's videos, shorts, if you have any of those one minute videos, I do not. And I also have never gone live, so it's not here, but there you go. Same thing with podcasts, uh, any promotions. That's only if you want to become 
that's more paid. Um, here they also have analytics so you can see more of the breakdown of how um, many views your channel has gotten in the last 28 days um, or your content show you things like that we'll have a big rundown you can also do it um, for the full time stuff like that uh, here you can also even see comments that your videos have gotten to you can say it so you can see all of them if you want to put subtitles on your videos um, if there's any copyright um, things so on YouTube a lot of times you can't put other people's music and stuff like that without risking being copyright and that could be a whole thing um, if you want to say uh, like put donations on your channel or you want to you know get money from your videos you want to try to make um, a living doing YouTube this is where you would start to do that customization for like branding and stuff like that that is where you can put an icon if you want and video watermarks and stuff like that if you want but if you just want to upload a video uh, you see this crate up here that is where you would uh, start it also from the dashboard here where it says upload videos you can also do it from here but if you ever anywhere you see this camera icon with a plus that is where you can start uh, uploading so I'll give you options you can do podcast create a new playlist create a post go live or upload video let's select upload video here it will ask you to select a file from your device you're on you would have to find a file let's see if we have any we do not but you would select a file. Let's see. Well, we don't have a video here, but um, so you would select a file, and then you would be able to go through and select thumbnails for it. There we go. That old one. So here would uh, see, uh, well, it's not able to, but um, you can see you can create a title for it here. You would create a description for the video here. You can select a thumbnail if you wanted. Otherwise, it will just um, select a frame from the video. You can select um, uh, which playlist you want to put it on. Um, you would also then select whether it would uh, appropriate for uh, kids or not. So then, um, Uh, so for like for the library, we always put uh, our kids programs and stuff and then our adult programs. And then YouTube always automatically checks for any copyrighted music or anything like that. And then under visibility, you that's where you can also select whether you want the video to be public or not, or if you just want it private or unlisted and things like that. And then... Uh, depending on the size of the video it may take it an hour or so to officially upload to youtube or not sometimes it's faster depending on the, the size of the video and stuff like that but that's where you can upload to youtube see 
And then here is also settings. This is a setting specifically for your YouTube channel, not, not viewing on YouTube. So if you're planning on making money from YouTube, this is where you could select uh, how you want to earn your money. Um, and like where you're based. You know, and this is where you can set whether you want to review um, uh, videos for kids. Um, this is, if you're uploading like a lot of videos and you just want a standard description on each video, you can set this, the description already, so you don't have to do the description every time. Um, has more branding permissions. Um, if you get larger on YouTube, you can even set um, other users to be your moderators. Um, you can even put your demographics if you want to and other agreements. And you can close that. Uh, but let's see, back to two for other settings. Down here, here you go. Um, this is more uh, your account for YouTube. Again, you, this is where you can um, customize your YouTube channel more uh, and your Google account here. Here is where you can set more of your notifications for YouTube. If you don't want to be notified every time an email about when uh, someone uploads a video from your subscriptions, you can you can uh, turn those off. You can also turn off desktop notifications so you don't get those. Here are more email notifications. And then what language you want your notifications in. And playback and performance. Um, in video info cards, those are like the annotations. Here, you can always even set if you want to always show captions on YouTube videos if available. Uh, here, I can select video previews will play when you hover over thumbnails. Always, if you turn it off, um, those little video previews will not show. Here is more privacy. So if I don't want everyone to know what my subscriptions are, I can turn those off so other people cannot see what channels I'm subscribed to. If I want to connect any other apps to YouTube, you can do those, but I have not turned those on. Billing and payments here is where I can enable purchases, but right now I have not because I do not have YouTube Premium or anything like that. But if you do want YouTube Premium or YouTube TV, you would have to enable that and then input uh, card info and stuff to buy YouTube TV. And then that is also uh, user ID and user channel and stuff like that. Or you can even delete the channel if you want to or move it to a different Google account if you change your Gmail. So those are uh, those settings. Uh, again, uh, if I've gone over anything and um, you need me to re-explain anything, please let me know. I'm going to double check and make sure I've gotten through everything. I can look a little bit more into playlists because I have not showed actually creating a playlist. So I have to go back to um see view the playlist. Let's go back here. Pause that. So again if I want to create a new playlist, let's click on here. Here is where I can Enter the playlist title. So let's say it's animals. 
You can name it whatever you want. You have 150 characters to use. Let's turn off, not save it to watch later. And here I can even choose whether I want my playlist to be private, uh, public, or unlisted. So right now, if it's private only, I can view this playlist. If I turn it to public, that means um, anyone who goes to my channel can go look under my playlist tab and find my playlist uh, for animals or whatever other playlist I create. Otherwise, if I keep it again unlisted, I could send the link to people, but only the people who have the link can see that playlist. So let's right now, let's keep it private and let's create it. And now I can go back to YouTube home here and go to playlists. And you can see here now I have a new playlist called animals. And it will even tell me what when I last updated it and stuff like that. So that's how you can create playlists on YouTube as well. So I do believe that's everything I had uh, on my agenda today. Uh, but again, if there's anything um, maybe I didn't touch on or uh, you need me to explain it again, uh, again, you can put it in the chat here. And um, I have a few minutes I could go over it again. Otherwise, um, thank you all for coming today to YouTube Basics. Um, if this um, class was recorded, uh, so uh, it will be uploaded to the, the library's YouTube page um, later this week. So you can always watch it again. I can show you where. You go to YouTube and search up Palos Heights Public Library. You will see here, this is the library, library building here. Just click on it and you'll see videos. They'll be either shown right here or if you go to playlists and it is usually under adult programs. You could always click on full view full playlist and it should be it'll probably be right up here when it gets uploaded so you can watch it at a later date um, so thank you all for coming to youtube basics i'll leave the chat open for a few more minutes just in case maybe you have any other questions um and thank you all for coming